Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we're going to be talking about what is 3D Studio Max. This is a video for those of you that are interested in going into the cinema or game development industry or maybe even in visualizations. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Autodesk products since they're a little bit confusing and especially if you're new in the industry you might be wondering should you start with 3ds Max or Maya. So we are going to focus today a little bit more about 3D Studio Max and talk what exactly makes it so special. Now let's roll the intro. First, let's start talking about what exactly is 3D Studio Max. 3D Studio Max is a computer graphic program used for creating 3D models. 3D Studio Max has been developed by Autodesk and the initial release was done in 1996. Ever since, there have been quite a lot of changes and quite a lot of new tools. As a beginner, you might saw that 3D Studio Max has insane amount of tools and features inside. This is because the software is designed to be used by many other different disciplines in the 3D world. As I mentioned already, some of the ones that can be used are going to be for cinema and as well game development, visualizations and even product designers. Some of the pluses for learning, especially as a beginner, 3D Studio Max is that the logic, if you once get the logic of the software and everything, it's going to be very easy to move to any other 3D software. It pretty much follows all the other 3D softwares and the logic inside, it's going to be pretty much the same. This gives you a very good base for your skills and after that, very easy way to find yourself around new softwares that you're learning. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 3D Studio Max is a 3D modeling software. So it doesn't mean that it's only for modeling, but I would say that from the, all the Autodesk products, this is one of the things that it's great at. So the software, especially if you're doing hard surfaces, high polys, and as well, you just want to create something which is in exact measurements and just to be very crisp, nice, sharp edges. It's probably one of the best tools on the market for doing so. You can easily create whatever you would like to do as a model and then even put controllers and animate them and move them around. The best part is that software is very specialized as well in doing very, very good visualizations. Talking about visualizations and getting realistic models or very, very good quality and high quality assets and scenes out of your software, there's a couple of things that we need to look into. First is the materials and the textures that you can uh, apply and assign to your models. Not only that you can create UV sets, which are going to be how exactly your textures are displayed on the models, but as well, there is quite complex material editor inside 3D Studio Max where you can create shaders and edit the textures and how everything looks on your models so that you get the result that you need for your scene. But also it comes with an amazing render. Renders are part of the software which is making the final image. So it's calculating the lights, it's calculating all the textures, all the different components inside your material to produce a final image. This image, of course, you can render a whole video, which is going to be a sequence of image, but at the end it's to produce and to get a final quality image. So 3ds Max render at the moment is called Arnold, which is inside the software. And this is something which comes as a standard in the latest versions in 3ds Max. And Arnold is a very good tool for getting awesome results. For example, some of the movies that have been using Arnold as rendering are Avengers, as well Guardians of the Galaxy, and many many more which are very high on special effects. Now let's talk a little bit about the difference between 3ds Max and Maya. Maya is also a modeling software and this is probably where as a beginner it might be a little bit confusing. But Maya is more specialized into animation, so it has a better tools. Not that 3D Studio Max has bad tools, but uh, at least personally, I prefer uh, rigging and animating more uh, environment assets. For example, opening doors and all these uh, small things inside 3ds Max. But when it comes to more organic stuff, I prefer definitely rigging and modeling inside Maya. Maya is just a little bit better and the tools that are done for animations are a lot more fluid and a lot more natural looking at the end and as well it's a little bit easier to get everything done. Of course you can still model and create amazing artwork inside Maya and render them 
But just comparison to 3ds Max, I can say that Max is more specialized into the modeling part while Maya is more into the animation part. So if you're someone that's looking to do a little bit more animations in characters, I would recommend you to start with Maya and look into that. You can of course, as I mentioned, always change in between them because the terminology and pretty much how everything works is very similar and it will take you just a couple of weeks to get used to the other software. If you are at the moment starting inside 3ds Max, I made a full course for beginners which is going to lay down the foundation for pretty much everything that you need. I'm going to put a link down in the description below, it's on my YouTube channel and it's completely free. So if you're somebody that's looking to start into the 3D modeling industry, I strongly recommend you to check that one. And as well to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss some of my tutorials. Thank you for joining me in today's video, I hope that it was useful for you and that you liked it. See you next time!